While many of us are cheering that the stock markets are breaking new high, the central banks around the world are busy with their goal to chase us. And the trading volume for the yield and treasury is also on a high, and I believe that institutions are also hedging and trading in all these hedging instruments. And what we could see here is over the past years, the central bank purchases in the gold market, and especially in 2022 and 23, it was exceptionally high compared to all the previous years. And in 2023, the statistic stopped at the third quarter. It have not included the fourth quarter. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. Before we discuss about today's subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And what we're seeing here are the two years, five years, and 10 years yield futures. And we also could see that the last two years, especially the volume for the yield futures have picked up tremendously. And these yield futures from my understanding are mainly traded by the institution, but it's also open to the retail investor as well. Why are this institution getting into these two years, five years, and 10 years yield futures? It's because they believe that inflation is still on the rise. And that's one of the clear explanation. And what is SOFR? And we can see that the volume increased tremendously at the end of last year. It stands for Secure Overnight Financing Rate. It is like the cost of borrowing cash overnight in the US Treasury market. And we can see that the volume increased as well. Gold, yield, and the treasuries increased tremendously. And before we discuss about this yield curve, let's also find out the difference between interest rates and yields. Interest rate is determined by the central banks, whereas yields that we're seeing here are determined by the investor. Typically, interest rate and yields should move in tandem together, meaning that they will ultimately move along the same direction, one leading the other. Let's talk about inverted yield curve. But before that, let's discuss about what is a healthy yield curve. A healthy yield curve is where the longer term borrowings like the 30 years or the 10 years compared to maybe five or two, the rates are higher than the shorter end. But what today we're seeing are the unhealthy yield curve or we call it the inverted yield curve where we could see that the short term yield the two years compared to the longer and five, 10 and 30 years are higher where we can see that this two years yield is at 4.627% compared to five years, 10 years and 30 years, which is much lower. And this is what we call an inverted yield curve. And let me give you an, a practical example that if you were to lend or borrow money, say a longer tenure like the 10 or 30 years, you will expect to earn or pay more interest for this 10 or 30 years loan contract because it's into the future. But today what we're seeing here, this relationship has inverted, which we call the inverted yield curve, where borrowers will have to pay more for their short-term loan like this, two years yield we are seeing for compared to their longer term borrowings. Now we're going to discuss about how the institution hatch into this inflation pressure that all around the world that we're still facing. And of course, what we're seeing here on the upper pane, these are the cash market and for them to trade or hatch or even retail investor to trade or hatch, you can get into all these yield futures. Now let's discuss about how all these institutions hatch into the yield futures. And this is a two years yield cash market. And we can see obviously that since the 80s until the recent years before the pandemic, uh, the yield has been on this very healthy decline on the downtrend, which was good. The borrowings are making cheaper and that's why we see the stock market as higher. But with the pandemic, suddenly everything changes. And we could see that technically have broke above this long-term downtrend line. 
and the institution know that that the inflation pressure is still ongoing and to hedge into the unforeseeable futures so one of the uh, instrument that they'll be using is all these yield futures as a hedge it means that they are looking at to buy into it because the yield that they suspect or they believe that it will continue to rise and let's look at the maybe a bit smaller picture here and how do they hedge since they have broken on this earlier the monthly term perspective on the longer term now we've got to look at the short term on every dip on every retracement you'll find every opportunity to see if there's a possibility to buy into the yield and these are just one example here of course they'll be looking at other techniques or methods or methodology and i just happen to uh analyze that there's this very nice parallel trend line over the last two years and every time when there ever there's a dip like this we saw a double bottom and it also fall in line with this uh, uptrend channel very nicely and so at the point in time they have to make the assessment if it is time to get into the yield again and in conclusion is that when the yield curve is inverted what does it mean it also means that uncertainties are ahead of us but opportunity are always out there perhaps we should do what the central banks and institutions are doing now while many of us may be distracted with the AI rally, but today we're able to sniff out where the smart money are shifting their funds into and why they're getting a little nervous and are already making plans. Next week, I'll bring you into the insight of this goal and yield ratio. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon to find out more. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stayed through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.